Welcome everyone to the Gorlitz High Performance Garage channel. A couple things I'd like to share with you. It's a fucking mess in here. <clears throat> I need to unload the back of this truck because I'm going to build a bed out of the existing wood that's on the back. Because, I don't know, this flatbed looks ridiculous. Anyway, I replaced my door panels with all the license plates that <coughs> I had bought. And, uh, see, it's a fucking mess in here, too. It's real bad. <laughs> it needs vacuumed out. And I did the other door, too. So, just uh, something a little different. So, I got all these damn stickers up in here. But, yeah, that's, uh, oh, boy, that's that's going to be something hard for me to tackle. I need to do something with that. I will here eventually, though. Probably just going to cover it up with something, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm not going balls to the wall with this thing. It's going to be a drag strip bruiser, so. The door's really shut hard on it. Let me set a little peep mirrors for it. Plus, I still have the other mirrors. Walk out this other side. <clears throat> it's a little nipply out today, so get the heat going. It's not much heat, but better than nothing. Yeah, I got all kinds of. Look at all this garbage I gotta get rid of. Oh, yeah. But anyway, here's the other door panel. I tried to stay with a similar theme on both as far as going in order. Um, yeah, I went in order with all the plates. The only bad thing is, is I uh, didn't have another West Virginia tag to put on the bottom so I went with Montana I have another one of them but I I fucked them up first uh, I fucked up the Montana one because of the window winder hole in the door uh, latch hole over here um, I drilled holes in them in the wrong spots I thought I had it right but for some reason I didn't but I just used uh, sheet metal self-tapping screws for this job. Um, fairly solid. I gotta run one right there yet. But they're they're pretty solid. My window actually works now. It sounds like shit, but it was skipping and jumping gear real bad. When I took the door panel off, I lubed the hell out of it with a little bit of blaster. That shit works really good. I mean, it's been around forever. works pretty good. I'm not advertising it or nothing, but whatever. I need to clean some stuff up. Damn mud wasp made a nest in there one time. But I lubed up all the latches and handles and all that shit. But yeah, it's... Uh, Get my light in there, <clears throat> but I, I think it looks pretty good. Um, it, it looks pretty good, I think. The only bad thing is if something happens inside any of them doors, I'm gonna have to take all them plates back off. That's gonna suck. Uh, I might, uh, I don't know, I might try to. Well, I can't really screw them together. I guess I could if I took them out, I just measured them up. I guess, if I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not real smart with that, that's like carpentry, I'm not real smart with that bullshit, but yeah, I got it all stickered up and everything, <clears throat> but next on the agenda will be the engine overhaul, I'm going to overhaul this thing. A mouse must have been on there. There's some meesey turds in there. 
Look at that shit. They're probably hiding in my engine somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You Wally 750 on there. Yeah. But we're gonna shit. Going to uh rebuild that and um I got those aluminum heads over there I'm going to put on it. Just going to get a uh, an overhaul kit. I need uh, under or oversized bearings for the bottom end. They're about 10,000. They took 10,000 off. Undersized, oversized, whatever you want to fucking call them. Uh, they're 10,000 main and rod. Um, I'm just hoping I don't have... Uh, I hope a ring didn't fold in there and bust uh, any of the pistons. Because then I'm going to have to fucking buy pistons. This engine's 40 over. It was bored 40 over eons ago. And I just kind of stayed with the theme. I just honed the cylinders, re-ringed the pistons, and put them in last time. And I was thinking about getting an aluminum water pump. That's just a painted one. I'll do that. And then we'll be up and running. And the transmission in this, it's a Turbo 350. I'm going to pull it out. Put new seals and gaskets in it. And I'm going to put a 2200 stall in it. It's got 456 rears. But actually, no. The, the bed will be next. The bed will be next. Yeah. And potentially, I may have, once again... A buyer for grandma. Uh, the LTD. I got a fellow who's interested in it. And there's the boxes from them headers. Right there. So. <clears throat> no cold starts today, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. But, you know, you got to get bored with the cold starts of the same car over and over, don't you? <laughs> But anyhow, on the battery on the, in the old uh, blue beast outside needs charging. And I have got rid of some stuff. We sold the, uh, the other 71 Chevy truck that we had in pieces in the other garage. We sold that. Got a lot of them parts out of here. Um, because my dad is getting up there. He said he didn't really have a, a need uh, to work on it. He didn't feel like working on it no more. He said when he got home from work, which he's still working. He said he just didn't feel like fucking with it no more. So uh, he decided to get rid of it. He got his money. He got more money out of it than what he had in it, which is good. But uh, I got more room back here for the for Bill's Iron Gym. That's right, Bill's Iron Gym. It's back, baby. Cause we gotta get, we gotta shed this Christmas weight. <laughs> we gotta shed this this uh, lard that I accumulated around my midsection over the holidays. What am I talking about? It's been there for ten years. I'm just gonna try and get more of it off. That's fine. <laughs> but this will do it. This will definitely do it. If I can just eat the things I'm supposed to eat, that's the best, that's the biggest part of it. The other part's just the exercise. But anyhow, I'm not a I'm fucking nutritionist, so. Anyway. That's all I have for now. I'm just going to clean this fucking place up. I got a bunch of parts back there. I got a, I got a Chevelle fender back there. I got... Some more Chevy doors. There's the headboard and tailgate for this bed I want to build. I do have step side fenders, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Because they are a fucking mess. But I don't know. I, I, we'll see what happens. If I can use them, I will. If not, I don't know. They're pretty rough. The one's got dents in it. I don't know. It might just... <coughs> it might just go with the theme of this truck anyhow. It's all it's kind of dented up anyway. So 
doesn't really matter whatever I don't care it's not a big deal so everybody have a good one uh, have a good weekend it's oh well, it's already started and where I work we actually were able to fill up the coal yard so I have a couple Saturdays off down there I'm glad I'm so I'm ecstatic a little bit of time off to do some shit around here get some stuff done uh hopefully uh this will be a trend and we can uh not have so many Saturdays to work but uh, the power plant we supply coal with is going on an outage in April. So I figure this, this Saturday thing is probably going to be a while. So hopefully uh, hopefully, hopefully that's a, that's a trend and that's going to be ongoing. And yeah, these headers are from his build. Uh, he was just going to sell them, so I jumped on it and bought them. Two hundred bucks. They're coated. Don't know how they're how long they're going to last, but I guess we'll find out. So junk laying everywhere. There's my fucked up license plates. Plates have fucked up. <laughs> that don't matter. There's a few things in here I'm going to sell and get rid of and throw away and all that other shit but all right everybody have a good one um <clears throat> unfortunately uh i guess uh, gas prices i they're they're 349 around here is around about the average right now um i don't know what the date is today it's the end of february we're going into the fucked up month of March real soon. So if it's it's just a day or two, we'll be into March. Um, yeah. That's when it's going to snow one day, be 80 the next day. Then the day after that, it will have freezing rain. And then after that, it'll, you know, it'll just keep uh, with up with the bullshit. Fucked up, retarded weather. That's what March does around here. So, so you'll have two or three days straight of excellent fucking weather. And it'll be so nice. It'll be so awesome. And the next thing you know, you'll wake up. There'll be six fucking inches of frost on your fucking car that you weren't anticipating for some reason. And you have to go out there and scrape it off and almost be late for work so you can leave. But uh, I know that's just me being stupid and not thinking and being a retard. But anyhow, <clears throat> unfortunately, I guess the gas prices are going to go up. And you know how that works. The fucking shit will go up two or three dollars overnight. But then it'll take six or eight months for it to come down a penny. You know, because they're all a bunch of greedy motherfuckers. And y'all can say what you want to say, but I think they should just sit back on their hands. And I, I know it's, I, I don't really know what the fuck is going on over there in Ukraine or whatever. I don't know why that <laughs> he wants that place so fucking bad. I don't know what the deal is. I guess it's just a thing of uh, an overstep of power because they broke away. He's one of them kind of guys. He wants the Soviet Union to get back together and be a commie country where everybody waits in line for shit paper, just like they did back in the 80s. But yeah, they. Uh, <clears throat> this this is fucked up. I, I really haven't been paying much attention to the news other than to see that he invaded this country and he has... Quite a bit of military shit. But is it good shit? Is it good? Seems like he has more ground troops than he's got anything else. And the only bad part about it is he's allies with China. So if you step in there... <laughs> because 
our dumbass politicians sold our fucking jobs to China, we'll be fucked if we step in. So we're, our hands are tied. So we just got to kind of, I guess, sit on our hands and just let things unfold. I mean, I, I don't really understand it, but anyway, that's, that's a topic for another time. I, I hate getting into politics and, and shit like that because it just pisses me off and it pisses everybody else off and it just makes everybody hate each other. So I don't really want to get into that bullshit because both parties fucking lick balls and they both need overthrown down here in D.C. because they don't do anything anyway. They just sit around and get rich. So, but anyway, everybody, have a good one. Be safe. And remember, EVs are not the answer. EVs are not the answer. It's a dumb idea. This is the answer right here. We just need to keep on getting it with what we got. And there's no real solution to uh, not using fossil fuels because it's a must. And there's more of it around than what you think. I think we have way more of it in our country than what everybody else is told because, you know, God, they don't want you to know anything. But but anyway, have a good one, everybody. I'm rambling. I'll let you all go. And like, share, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you all later. Tell me what you think.